Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss the complex number system. The complex number system is divided into two sections. Number one, real numbers and number two, non-real numbers. Non-real numbers are numbers that cannot be solved. Example, the square root of negative two. The reason for this is if you take two squared, you end up with a positive four. But if I take negative 2 squared, I also end up with a positive 4. Now square is the opposite of a square root, which shows you that both answers are positive. Therefore, a negative root cannot be real. The next one we have is real numbers. Real numbers can be divided into two things, irrational and rational. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written in a fraction form. Example, the root of 3. Common irrational numbers are pi or the root of 5. You will see irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be turned into a fraction no matter how many times or how far you expand the numbers after the decimal. A rational number is any number that can be written in the form of a over b. Now if you look at a common rational numbers, it would be standard fractions that you know, right? But fractions could be 1 over 5. However, if they give you 1 and 3 over 5, this is not written in the form of A over B. So to prove that it is a rational number, you must be able to change it into the form of A over B. This becomes 8 over 5. The next section you get under rational numbers is called integers. Now integers, many people confuse it to say that integers are only negative numbers. But this is not the case. Integers are not only negative numbers. Integers can be made of negative numbers and positive numbers. Example, negative 5, 3, 5. But what is important is that all these numbers can be written as a fraction. So if I had to put negative 5 over 1, a over b, 3 over 1, a over b, 5 over 1, a over b. Now integers can be split into whole numbers zero, one, two, Three. or it can be split into natural numbers. Now natural numbers is counting numbers. One, two, three. When you count people, if there's a whole group, you don't start by saying, okay, you number zero, you one, you two. You start from one. So the difference between whole numbers and natural numbers is the zero. Okay, then we get negative integers. Now negative integers is what we call negative 3, negative 5, negative 7. What is important to realize is that these numbers are all whole numbers. It's not negative 3 comma 5 or negative 3 comma 2 or negative 3 comma 1. It is a whole number. After fractions and integers, the last section that you get under rational numbers is decimals. Now decimals, you can get normal decimals which are 0, 0,5 which can become a fraction 1 over 2 or you can get recurring decimals which is 0, 0,3 when they say recurring it means 0, 0,3, 3, 3, 3 and the 3 can continue but this too can become a fraction as in 1 over 3. You will notice that all sections under rational numbers can at all times become a fraction. Whether it's a normal standard decimal, if it's a recurring decimal, if it's a negative integer, a positive integer, if it is a whole number or a natural number, all numbers under rational numbers can become a fraction. Thank you for watching this video.